Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be presenting uh, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. On this channel I do I do travel videos, uh, videos on different products and credit card and points videos. The difference between my channel and any other channel that uh, my channel is non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. Uh, so I don't have to actually uh, give you a false review or anything because I do not provide any affiliated links or I do not sell anything on uh, from my channel. So also you're going to get uh, the real review because uh, you know I'll tell you uh, exactly uh, what, whether you know this is the first time I'm using this product or not. So for example the GoPro review or unboxing I'm going to do right now uh, I have never touched a GoPro in my life so this is my first time uh, touching a GoPro and this is my first GoPro, GoPro which is Hero 7 Black so I'll open the box and see like you know how it looks how difficult uh, to open or to operate and then I'll give you uh, various settings probably in this video or diff in other videos and then I'll give you a uh, sample in, uh, footage and uh, or other information uh, in uh, another video or possibly I could attach it to this video, I'm not sure yet. So what you're going to hear and what you're going to get is totally honest, unbiased opinion. So the box comes like this. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing with the box that it looks like, you know, it's a premium packaging. So they spent a lot of money on uh, the package uh, because you can tell that uh, this is a very uh, well packaged product uh, so here we have uh, the front cover and then uh, 12 megapixel camera uh, 4k video live streaming and uh, you have some of the features here with pictures for example again camera video underwater photography without any casing and then uh, this one is a voice command and then this one is touch control and then slow motion uh, then we have here GPS HDR pictures uh, and then we have hyper smooth image stabilization and live streaming what I know that uh, in the past GoPros uh, they didn't have hyper smooth and live streaming so these are uh, new features and uh, the, sp the specialty of this GoPro Hero 7 is that uh, the hyper smooth uh, video stabilization uh, and according to GoPro you don't have to have a gimbal so it will give you uh, you know high, a very smooth uh, video without gimbal so that's the main purpose of me buying this and I plan to use this camera on my next trip or in future trips because I'm tired of carrying too many cameras on the trip especially a video camera so I have decided to use a smaller ca smaller cameras instead of bigger cameras so this is a uh, on Play Store, Google Play or Apple Store, you have to um, download the app and link it to your GoPro. So we'll uh, go to that. And then here are some of the attachments which you will come with the uh, uh, you'll find with this GoPro. Uh, so for example, there should be a casing, a wrench, battery, and then a flat and uh, uh, curved mount, and then uh, USB cable. So basically that looks like it. So the box should, I should open the box this way. Looks like there's a security seal here. So let's just start taking this off. Okay, so that was very easy. Now I'm just opening from here. And let me see if I can slide it out, the whole thing. Okay, so as you can see, the whole thing is coming out and I'll leave this here and then the box is empty and this one looks like a plastic uh, material but it looks like a very good material and here you can see the gimbal like hyper smooth stabilization that's the main selling focus or point of this GoPro so let's put it here so now the GoPro camera is attached to a flat surface and looks like a uh, there's some stuff in here so they also gave instructions how to open this or remove this which will come to it shortly let me see what's in here okay so 
I'm just taking this off and some attachments here okay so there's a GoPro card uh, and it has some instructions on how to open uh, the battery case or the casing uh, various stuff set it aside this looks like there's a sticker if you wanna mount it somewhere or stick it somewhere and then you have a GoPro manual uh, which I'm not gonna go through now we have two other chambers in here uh, let's actually sorry one chamber and let's see what we have here and let me just make sure there's nothing in here so this one is empty okay so let's just put it back in here so here we have the USB cable and this is USB-C uh, and then we have a uh, mount which looks like these are buckle mount but one is flat uh, this one is flat and this one is curved so this one could go on helmet or like you know some curved su uh, surfaces like on bicycle car and this one can stick to flat surface so I'll just uh, put this here uh, let's just set it aside and then here it comes with one battery so what I heard about GoPro that you know the batteries are very uh, it doesn't last long so you need extra batteries and I'm planning to buy like you know three or four sets of extra batteries for my trip so I'll just put it here for now and let's try to take off the GoPro from the flat surface so what I'll do okay so I'll put some pressure on here okay so to lift this up a little bit see like this and then once you lift it up then press it this way so lift it up press it this way and push it over or slide it forward and then the whole thing came out the whole thing came out so I'll just set it aside now we have the GoPro inside the case and I need to remove this section so what I'll do I'll unscrew the wrench okay so this one just looks like an attachment to make it tighter or for shipping purposes I don't believe it has any you don't need to like you know, use this in the future so this is just throw away stuff so this is here's the wrench then we have the GoPro here uh, you can actually put this on somewhere on your like you know tripod if you have the right attachment uh, you can just slide it in but I'll just uh, get take out the GoPro GoPro out of the casing so it's in the case right now so let's take a look here so there's an arrow so it's asking to push it forward and if I do that okay so you have to lift it up okay so what I did I lift it up this way and then the GoPro should come out I took this off too and then okay now almost there okay so this is the casing and which is gonna let you mount it on your tripod or on your selfie stick or vlogging stick and here we have the actual GoPro okay so looks like here we have the power button and then here we have it could be on or on or off button and then here we have uh, a door so let me see and try to okay so it just came over a little bit and then I can slide it over and 
I can see that uh, it has the poor uh, cable input for uh, looks like got USB-C and the other one is HDMI so we got both those two right here and then let me just close it back and looks like there's another door here so you push this here and move it forward a little bit and then the door comes out and then where is the battery goes so that was the how you insert batteries and everything in GoPro so again this this was my first time so I had slight uh, it took me a little while because I never opened a GoPro before so what I'll do let me try to insert the battery and see if the battery has any charge or anything so I'll take the battery and I'll try to match with how or where to insert the battery okay so I have a feeling that the GoPro should be matching facing forward to the GoPro camera so if I do it and then if I push it in I heard a sound so it looks like it fits okay uh, okay so it took it and then I'll try to uh, power the GoPro and but before that let me just remove this uh, turtle uh, okay so we have it here just leave it there and let me see if I press the power button okay so it looks like it has some power and uh, it's giving me uh, the GoPro logo and it's asking me to set up the language which will I set to uh, English uh, where did you go okay so language should be English and French other so let's choose English then hit OK and then legal stuff uh, agree disagree so let's agree capture captures location where your video and photos are taken so this is the GPS I'm gonna keep this off because it takes too much battery just like your cell phone so off and now it's telling to install the GoPro app on your phone to finish the setup leave your camera on to follow the app instruction okay so up to this we are okay so I'll just install the GoPro app and connect it to the GoPro so just give me a few seconds okay so to install the GoPro app just go to uh, Google Play or uh, Apple uh, Play or Apple Market uh, I don't know what it's called so search for GoPro and then enter then you're gonna get the match and then if you just do install then it shouldn't take that long okay so now you're getting this message let's connect your GoPro to your phone uh, find my camera so this is the first mess message I'm getting after installing the app so find my camera allow GoPro to access device location allow and please turn on Bluetooth to find your camera okay so let's turn it on okay and let's see what happens here uh, okay so nothing is happening here okay somehow it's stuck at this point so I'm not sure what is wrong here okay it froze my phone so I'm not sure why it's doing this so what I'll do okay let me just restart my phone and see what happens here hello everyone I'm back so somehow the app froze my uh, phone and I had to restart my phone so let's see if this works this time so I hit the GoPro and uh, it is starting this way okay so asking to agree which I did send personal data uh, okay so I'll just agree to this too and you need uh, the software uh, which is a free editing app uh, for GoPro I'm not going to use that so no thanks okay so now your set quick link quick stories will appear below okay that's fine 
and okay so leave your camera on and follow the instructions on app okay so now let's see how to attach it to the GoPro so I went to the app uh, camera section and now it's searching for camera and let's see what happens okay so it tells you that we found your GoPro connect your GoPro camera so connect and it's connecting okay explore new your new GoPro and tap on the button okay so it looks like they're connected uh, and it's asking to give it a name or I can leave it as this name which is uh, right here right there so actually I think I can just leave it uh, as is so just leave it there camera update available so looks like there's an update so just update it now and it's reconnecting to your camera okay so looks like it has difficult time updating it so I'll do it later it couldn't update the first time now this one is off so I have a feeling I have to turn this on manually so which I'll do okay so I did that okay so it's trying to connect but it's taking a while okay so I'll just leave this here and let me just look at some of the features or menus here so it says no SD which is correct okay and then here's the preferences uh, and if I click on that so it's connection general voice control touch display regional input output reset okay so just go back and if I do this way okay so slide down preferences slide up let's see slide up okay nothing comes up slide right okay so time lapse time warp video and then it just gives you like you know video speed so it just gives you what it is for everything and then here is the setting for photo video and camera okay so it's telling me that there's only 1% battery right there uh, right here and there's no SD card so I'm going to put in the battery uh, char I mean charge the battery put in the SD card and then you know I'll uh, show you more settings more features and some uh, live video clips later on so that was my first experience with uh, my Gropo, the setting up uh, and uh, connecting and everything. So the app had a slight problem, it froze my phone and I had to restart my phone and then it couldn't even update. So I'm not sure there could be bugs or something or some problem with the app or it could be my phone so I'm not sure about that. But uh, handling the camera, so it has rubberized filling and I had a cheap action camera before like you know hundred dollars action camera and the thing I can one thing I can tell right away that this is heavier so it feels like you know a premium product and the looks and everything uh, there's uh, the display screen on front on the back touch and everything so yeah I, I can I can tell that this is a premium product company other cheap video camera and as I learn more and I go like you know through my GoPro experience then I'll you know provide you more information and do more videos on this thank you but that's all for now uh, so I'll just you know close this section of the video uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be more related videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you
to Union Station. Thank you.